Walker, and today we're gonna bake again. Uh, I'm trying something that looks kind of hard, but I think I can do it. It's called Nutella Churro Donut Holes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is preheat our oven to 350 degrees before we free it. We're preheating, that's good. Then we're gonna spray our muffin tin because I forgot to get muffin line, I think. So, in a large bowl, we're going to get our dry ingredients together, which is a cup of flour, like this, and then two tablespoons of sugar, and a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, and then a teaspoon of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of baking soda. So we're going to um, whisk all these dry ingredients together real fast. That's probably good. Okay, now that we've whisked our dry ingredients together, um, it says, it's one of those ones where you have to make a little well in the circle. So wash your hands, which I have done, and then we're just gonna go for it. <laughs> I don't really know how big. That looks like a good well. Do you wanna see my well now that I have flour all over me? There's my well. It's very beautiful. Two tablespoons of canola oil in the center. Didn't know we had to be able to aim things. See, baking is a sport. You have to aim sometimes. Two teaspoons of vanilla. Oh, my egg was about to roll off the counter, so that was fun. So I have to crack an egg. Maybe I'll do that in a bowl. This is very risky to try and do it in there. Before I add the milk and it gets all ruined, I want to show you... Wait, let's put this egg in here. Oh yeah! I mean, that is beautiful. I don't know about you. Our egg is in the middle. Now we just have to add the milk. Ooh, it actually did go in the center. Okay, and then it just says to whisk. Um, it just says to whisk the batter until smooth and lump free, so I don't really understand why it was in the middle. It seems like you should do something special if you put it in the middle like that. But we're just gonna do what they say. I wore the wrong sleeves for baking. I went for, wait for it, wait for it. Ugh, I have dramatic sleeves, but you can't see them because I don't wanna get them full better. I mean, that looks pretty lacking of lumps, so. I think we might be good already. That was easy, okay. And it says about two um, tablespoons each, or until each cup is about three-fourths full. I actually have, so last time I filmed, I, um, I was just kind of looking at apartments, but I just signed for one, and um, I'm moving in on August 8th, so that's exciting. I actually am gonna have my own apartment that's all, you know, my own and I'm paying for it by myself and it feels pretty good man. I'm excited to show it to you because it will be very cute. I'm currently obsessing over like organization things. <laughs> I'm gonna try and I think I'm gonna get some cool like in drawer organizers and makeup organizers and it's just gonna be a really great time. I'm gonna be so organized, but I mean, the reality is that I'm gonna have a bunch of organizers and put stuff in other places anyway. It just works out that way. But maybe if I get the tools to help myself be organized, I can handle it. We shall find out, shan't we? Shan't we? Shall, shall, I don't know. Cause shan't is negative, I shan't. So if I say, we shall find out, shan't we, that's saying, shall we not. I guess that still makes sense. Well, that's filled up. Wow. The most, you know, clean filling you've ever seen. We've got our guys. We're going to put them in the oven, which is preheated now. And now we're going to bake 10 to 15 minutes or until they're golden in color and a toothpick comes out clean. So let's see how this goes. I feel like these are gonna be, these are, they call them donut holes on the recipe, but this is literally just gonna be muffins, or muffin shaped donuts, cause there's nothing making them donut hole shaped. <laughs> They're just gonna be muffin shaped. 
but that's fine. They'll still be donut batter, I guess. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm about to go get my guys out because they're done. Look how pretty! Oh my goodness. And they are pretty round, actually. I mean, they're muffins, but they're very round muffins. Okay, so these guys have to cool, so I'm gonna let them sit here for a little bit. And then we're gonna make our little coating and just roll them in the coating, and then we just get a piping bag and squirt them up with Nutella. <laughs> Which really, I mean, that's just a good day. We're back! Our guys are nicely. Oh no, oh no, no there's a fly. They look a little bit like cornbreads, but that's fine. I'm gonna put this other plate on top of them for now so this fly doesn't get them. And we're gonna make the coating for them. So we need to melt a tablespoon of butter. It's already a little bit melty. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like it should be two tablespoons. Maybe I'll double this. Two thirds sugar. Oh. First we gotta melt this butter. Two tables two teaspoons of cinnamon, but double the before. That is melted. So now we're gonna do two thirds sugar. Four teaspoons of cinnamon. Although I have to say this is leaning towards the on the scale of is this Pinterest recipe just absolute bullshit or not? Hello Bella. My dog is approaching. Um when we're asking if this Pinterest recipe is bullshit or not, this does not, these do not look like the picture at all. <laughs> so, I'm a little bit skeptical about this recipe now. I mean, I should I probably should have seen it coming as soon as I saw that they wanted a muffin tin instead of anything else. It doesn't make any sense though, because it said specifically to cool them before you put the coating on, but how is the coating supposed to stick if... Hmm. Do I need to warm this up, maybe? I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> okay, well. My muffins may be cool, but my coating is warm. So something's gotta stick here. So, I think what I'm gonna do is take this off. We're just gonna coat, and then put it on the other plate. Does this work? Maybe. Let's find out. Yeah, I don't know why they tell you to coat it, to cool it first. I should've used critical thinking skills. You should just coat it while it's still warm, should you not? But with the warm coating, it looks like it's still, ah! <laughs> I think if you have like a metal cake pop tin, you can make them look like actual donut holes. Oh my God, okay, get away. Get away, sir. No. Ugh, we're almost done, you guys. We can make it, oh, just cinnamon and sugar everywhere right now. It'll be grand. It's a bit grand, but I want it to be grand. This is why I need Ducky around to be Irish for me. Two more, we're almost there. I just concerned Bella. It is all right, Bella Boo. <laughs> Baby Bella. Well, she's actually an old lady, but she's a baby at heart to me. Okay, now we need to do our filling, which is just Nutella. And you need it. Oh, hello, where are you going, baby? No, man, you wanna sit down? You wanna sit down? Good girl. Yeah. So, Bella. You good, man? Yeah? All right. So, next we have to do our filling, and you are supposed to have a piping bag, which I thought I had, but I don't actually have. Um, so I'm, I'm just gonna fill this up with Nutella and cut a thing in the corner, I think. That's what I'm gonna do. Ooh, fresh. Are you ready for this? Why don't they put the little tab on the side to make it easy to open anymore? I don't understand. They used to have like a little boop on the side and you could open it and they stopped doing that with these kinds of things now. What is the meaning of this? Okay, ooh, look at that. Oh goodness, okay. I tried to see, I feel like there should be a squeezy bottle of Nutella in stores near you. I tried to find one today. They're probably, like you can probably get it on Amazon or something. But like, I don't wanna give money to Amazon right now. And I don't have any noses. 
uh, for this, so... Oh, I should've... Should've cut first. I think I need to help myself with a hole since I don't have a real... Piping bag with the nostril thing. Is that what they're called? Why do I keep calling them nostrils? Is that real? Oh no, this is not gonna go very well without an, a nostril. It was going so well! Actually, I think it's kind of working as long as I make a good enough hole. We have finished little guys. My main criticism is these are definitely not donut holes, they're just muffins. And taste will tell if they taste like uh, donuts, but I'm gonna guess probably not. <laughs> so, take that how you will. But, I mean, it was easy. It wasn't really a hard, challenging recipe. It's not really what they advertise, but it looks like it's still good. Alright, I guess the time has come to try one of these. Which one? We'll do this little guy. It actually tastes like a donut. Mm. Oh my god, it does actually taste like a donut. It's not a complete scam. Uh, I would definitely recommend, I think I stopped to film before I pulled them out. So definitely don't go over the 10 minutes, um, cause they might have a little dry just cause I had an extra like minute and a half in the oven. But um, yeah. So they don't look like donuts, but they do taste like them. So I, I mean, 10 out of 10 would recommend. It's not that hard. <laughs> My dog is about to die, so that's... What are you doing? Oh my God. <laughs> All right, let's wrap things up here. Um, thank you for joining me for Nutella Donut Holes. Wait, what is it called? Nutella Churro Donut Holes. I know what my own video is about. And um, feel free to send me pictures or leave a comment um, if you try this and show me how it goes. And I'll see you soon. I think I'm gonna start trying to upload every other week and we might go to every week if we can. But for now, it's going to be every other week. And feel free to subscribe, check out my other videos. And yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye! Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother...